Did this summer's romance expansion pack leak? Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 new slash speculation video, though this is really more on the speculation side because nothing has been officially announced by EA. Instead, we have this leak by Anadius who has leaked other things that have come true in the past. So it says the Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack will be released on July 25th. Pre-orders start on June 27th and the screenshot shows early buyer bonuses. There are no screenshots from the pack itself as of now. So there's going to be a description, that screenshot and uh, the cover, which we'll take a look at more closely later. And also he has it in other languages on his GitHub. So I'll be linking to anything I show here down below. So we have the overall description here from this leak. So the short description is meet your match. And for the long description, I'll sort of comment a little bit as we go along in between. First off, explore romance as you match with alluring Sims and plan exciting dates in the Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack. Create your Sims profile for the Cupid's Corner dating app and start meeting matches. New intimate interactions like cuddling in bed or meeting for a seductive dance are waiting. Whether your dynamic ends up steamy or strained will depend on what your sim finds attractive. Pay a special attention to those turn-ons and turn-offs. So those are things that have been in previous sims that are coming back. And my understanding is it's in some mods already. So people are like, we already have this in mods. But of course, not everybody can use mods and not everybody wants to use mods. So the fact that they're bringing it officially into the game with this expansion pack is useful for those. And also those who use mods means you don't have to keep a mod up to date and perhaps sometimes those modders will update their mod to incorporate this but then expand on it so perhaps that will be what happens purchase now to get the heartbreak happens bonus items not all love stories have happy endings embrace a little heartache with the crimea river eyeliner cuddle up with the new herbert heart plushie and start your single life with the basic breakup double bed your ex took the bed but not your dignity mostly available when you order june 27th through september 5th so based on that leaked release date this is not a pre-order bonus this is an early purchase bonus which is what they've been doing with the you know recent expansion packs here's that screenshot of those items you can see that crimea river uh, eyeliner on the sim and there's that bed which people say there's a body pillow underneath it i guess that's the pillow it just looks like a pillow to me and then there are the plushies either there's two versions of the plushies or there's more and they're only showing us two. Now they say cuddle up, but I kind of wonder if they're still just decorative because they're just sort of sitting there as opposed to something the Sims can interact with. But again, this is a leak and we won't really know anything about it till later. Now it goes on to say plan hotter dates. Check the Cupid's Corner app for matches that make your Sims heart flutter. Then set up a date with the new date planning system. You'll choose where to go and what to do, crafting romantic rendezvous that'll leave Sims swooning. Sims can connect by playing games, cuddling in bed, or taking the romantic blanket for a beautiful spot for a special moment. So I don't know if that's something that is going to be like a new woohoo thing you can do. Um, because it'll just have to be blanked out without anything because normally they go into something or under like the blankets or something like that. Now, set up a date with the new date planning system. I, I kind of hoping it's not going to be like with my wedding stories, which of course was a disaster and is still not that great, where these dates replace the existing dates. Like I hope that if anything, it's like a, you can do this or that, you could still go with the other ones, but I'm not honestly gonna have high hopes. Assuming this is always obviously correct, which it possibly may not be, but it's feeling very real. Um, anyways, that's just <laughs> my concern with that particular thing. And the next it goes on to say all about attraction, what works for your sim? Turn-ons and turn-offs will determine how attractive sims are to each other. They can include interests, interactions, and more. Discover these as your sims get to know their partners. Build relationships and maintain romantic satisfaction. Since sims will like and dislike different interactions, 
partners may have different satisfaction levels. How sims interact with each other will also affect whether their relationship dynamic is wholesome, steamy, strained, or unpredictable. So that seems like it's an additional relationship dynamic to like the family relationship. It's like a romantic relationship dynamic, maybe. And I'm guessing that romantic satisfaction is going to be a different tier to like the normal pink or maybe it's going to replace it and they're not going to have the same on either side like you currently do. I don't know. Let me know what you think. It's just me looking at this and kind of wondering at it. And then it says, for lovers of love, romance isn't just a word. It's a skill that unlocks seductive interaction. So we have a new skill, <laughs> some type of romance skill. For Sims with romantic aspirations, romance is a way of life. So we already do have two romantic aspirations. I'm wondering if they're going to add more. And also that whole thing about the dates. I They have dates in the romantic aspirations. So again, um, truly hopeless romantics can even become romance consultants and make a career out of loving love. As they rise in their career, they'll earn new ways to promote love and maybe find some cute heart-shaped furniture in their inventories. So there, I think in one of the screenshots, which we'll take a look at, there's a heart bed maybe, which of course has been in the previous Sims, Sims 1, 2, and 3, though from what I can see, I went to the wiki, I'll show you that. The Sims 3 one was in a stuff half, not actually in the game in any of the packs but they all were added in packs they weren't in the base game of those games but uh, it looks like if there is one it's possibly to die to being this romance consultant which you know I'm always happy to see a career I'm curious if this is one of those work from home type careers or if it's one where your sims are like just gonna go away to uh, a rabbit hole or of course when they work from home they do can also just go away to a rabbit hole they don't have to work from home. So now a little bit about the world it says date nights in an unforgettable city so we're getting a city world fall in love with a gorgeous city made for romance. I can't say the name but it's supposed to mean city in love per Google Translate, and it's supposed to be Spanish per uh, Google Translate, but maybe it might translate to other things from other languages. Let me know if you know down below. It has three neighborhoods that exude charm with plenty of places for Sims to meet, flirt, and even woohoo. There's even a new singles hangout lot trait that'll attract available Sims to come and mingle. So... At least it has three neighborhoods, which is one more neighborhood than the world that came with For Rent and more in line with the other recent expansion packs. I'm not expecting anything really big because they had already said at one point that they weren't going to do big worlds like they had done in the beginning because I guess supposedly they didn't, you know, work as well for the game. So no more Windenbergs or even Sam Maishuno is pretty big, unfortunately. And I did see a tweet from uh, the Hanford Hen, which we'll go over afterwards to do with the world. But let's take a look, a closer look at those pictures. So here is this um, love struck, which is zoomed in. That's what's on the expansion pack cover. Just we can see it a bit better there. I'm guessing um, that's the heart bed because it looks it's got a heart shed sh shaped back which some of the heart beds weren't fully heart. They just had the heart um, headboard and uh, some of the hairstyles and the clothes and the one sim is looks like they're feeding chocolate covered strawberries, which is kind of fun. And I'm wondering in the bottom right hand corner if that's like that blanket that you can take for, um, you know, having, you know, going out on romantic dates. So you can see a little bit of the clothes there. And there's just the cover, which it's not as clear, but shows the, you know, name and whatnot. And also the little symbol for the pack. Again, assuming this is all correct, because this is a leak and it's not anything officially announced by EA. So I've done a little timeline summary here, which has all the dates per Anadius's leak. Uh, so the pre-orders are set to start on Thursday, June 27th, which will be about two weeks from when this video goes live, approximately. I would expect that that is quite likely when we're going to get the announcement trailer for it and, you know, a teaser possibly the day before. And then the leaked release date is Thursday, July 25th, which is four weeks from that pre-order date. And of course, the base game update is usually the Tuesday before, i.e. July 23rd in this case. 
And then the last day for that early purchase bonus is Thursday, September 5th, which you can sort of see there on the screen. So you can sort of see, visualize a little bit better as to when all of those dates are, assuming again that this leak is correct. But it does fit with the fact that we know we're getting another expansion pack um, during this time period that is romance themed. And also when they said that they were doing the base game bug fixes, they were like every two months. So May, July would fit with that being like the second of the three every two months bug fixes that we're getting and also we know we're getting a new hair in July which would fit with that too unless that comes before and doesn't come in this update and comes in perhaps an SDX drops drop beforehand um that was the date wasn't confirmed but the the fact that was July was confirmed in a blog post by EA done previously so here is a tweet from the Hanford Hen about the world that I had mentioned So it says three neighborhoods, 14 to 15 lots with some apartments like the ones in Eco Lifestyle. Now, this is again, not an announcement. This is still speculation, but uh, hopefully it is going to be bigger like that. And the apartments in Eco Lifestyle are more like a walk up versus the apartments in San Myshuno, which are, you know, elevator driven kind of thing. Um, And then someone said, you hope a little egg. And they said that wasn't me speculating. So... Again, still take it with a grain of salt. It's not official. Nothing has been announced. And of course, all of this is speculation. So I'd love to know what you think about this leak. First, do you think it's very likely that this is actually going to be the expansion pack? Or are you like some people thinking it's all AI generated? And also, if it is seemingly true, what do you actually think of what we know about this expansion? And are you excited to have it in the game Without the use of mods, for those who are mod users and for those who aren't mod users, are you excited to have this finally added to the game? I'd love to know in a comment down below. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!